Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss one of the films called Mutation on Mars 2021. And never forget that I always pray for you and your family to be happy and healthy always. In the year 2042, four expert scientists united in the Mars Migration Program Alliance were sent to conduct research and cyanobacteria testing on the planet. The four scientists, named Feng Weiyi, are currently engaged in the task of collecting rock samples from Mars. Meanwhile, at the main base, Richard Bolton, a biologist, is with his research animals, chameleons, along with Anna and Thomas. The horror begins when meteorite rocks suddenly appear and rain down on their assigned area. This forces Wei Yi to quickly enter the exploration vehicle and hurriedly return to the main base. However, at the base itself, the other three scientists are almost injured after one of the meteors hits the room near them. Fortunately, they are unharmed and rush to initiate the evacuation process using the escape pods, leaving behind Richard's research animals. However, the situation worsens as an incredibly thick sandstorm sweeps through the area, causing the disruption of all communication signals. Richard, along with the other two scientists now prepared in the escape pod, insists on waiting for Wei Yi's arrival, sacrificing some fuel to stabilize the pod against the storm. And shortly thereafter, the faint light from Wei Yi's exploration vehicle could be seen, but it could no longer move, having run out of power. This forced Wei Yi to walk through the storm to quickly enter the escape pod. Eventually, when the pod started launching in the midst of it, they noticed through the window a creature resembling a giant whale floating towards them. The unidentified creature, also detected on radar, then attacked their escape pod, causing damage and once again causing it to fall to the Martian surface. <laughs> The scene shifts to a spacecraft named Wanhu, owned by China, currently passing through the orbit of the planet Mars in their second mission towards planet Jupiter. Inside the spacecraft, two young astronauts named Feng Tong and Li Xiang are visible. Feng Tong, as it turns out, is the biological child of Feng Weiyi. As they pass the orbit of Mars, Feng Tong briefly recalls his past when his parents were departing on the mission to Mars. Unbeknownst to them, a new horror has just unfolded on the Mars. The scene returns to the central headquarters on Earth, where the team responsible for the mission of the Wanhu spacecraft is led by Commander Liu. Commander Liu suddenly receives a communication from Frank, who is in charge of the space agency for the Mars Migration Program Alliance. In his report, Frank receives a message in the form of a video clip and audio containing a plea for help from Wei Yi, who claims to have been attacked by an unknown object, resulting in the failure of their flight, concluding with a scream from Wei Yi. Considering the considerable time required to send assistance from Earth to Mars, which could take up to four months, Frank requests humanitarian aid from the one who spacecraft, currently coincidentally passing through the orbit of Mars, to carry out a rescue mission. After careful consideration, Commander Liu approves Frank's request and asks the technical division to analyze the possibility of identifying the object seen floating outside the escape pod in the video sent by Feng Weiyi. Subsequently, he contacts the one who spacecraft for a new mission assignment, to land on Mars and rescue the crew of the Mars Migration Program Alliance, who have been reported to be attacked by an unknown object, with their fate currently unknown. The mission also involves finding out the true nature of the unidentified object, which has not been identified so far. Of course, this news made Feng Tong worried, but he maintained a professional demeanor by staying calm and allowing Captain Du Ping to assign tasks to each crew member. Chen Shan was tasked with operating the spacecraft and serving as the liaison for contact with the Earth headquarters. He Shu King took on responsibilities for the medical and rescue departments. Li Xiang was in charge of biochemical research on Mars while also examining the unidentified object. Meanwhile, Feng Tong, along with Captain Du Ping, assumed the roles of the main pilot and co-pilot for their landing on Mars, emphasizing the need to adapt and improvise as necessary. 
After everything was prepared and they reported to Commander Liu, they departed using the landing craft and entered the atmosphere of the planet Mars. However, as soon as they entered the atmosphere, they were immediately greeted by a monstrous whale-like creature moving towards them, causing the connection with the main one who spacecraft to be severed. Faced with the terrifying creature approaching, Feng Tong improvised, ultimately successfully saving them from two attacks by the monstrous whale. <laughs> Despite landing safely and escaping the pursuit of the monster, the maneuvers performed by Feng Tong earlier depleted the landing craft's fuel. Therefore, Captain Du Ping divided their group into two teams. Feng Tong and He Shiking were assigned to head to the location of the landing pod to assist the scientists, while Li Xiang and Captain Du Ping themselves would go to the Mars Central Headquarters to search for fuel. Meanwhile, Chen Shan, who lost contact with the landing craft, promptly reported this to the Earth headquarters, while sending images of the unidentified object, resembling dust, captured from the weather monitor. On the other hand, Captain Du Ping and Li Xiang, nearing the main Mars base, found an exploration vehicle fully powered by solar energy. Taking the initiative, Captain Du Ping decided to use the vehicle to pick up Feng Tong and He Shiking, who had reported finding the landing pod's location. He instructed Li Xiang to go to the base to search for fuel. Meanwhile, Feng Tong and He Shiking discovered three out of the four scientists. Richard was found conscious when awakened, Anna was in critical condition, and Thomas was declared dead. However, Feng Weiyi's whereabouts were unknown. Shortly afterward, Captain Du Ping arrived and brought Feng Tong, He Shiking, Richard and Anna to the main Mars base, unable to communicate with Li Xiang. While He Shiking was attending to Anna's injuries in the room, outside, Captain Du Ping and Feng Tong questioned Richard about what had truly happened. However, Richard couldn't provide much information as he claimed to have lost consciousness when the escape pod was spinning before the fall, and right after that, the door near them suddenly opened on its own. Suspecting something was wrong, Feng Tong grabbed an axe and slowly entered the door, finding Li Xiang inside. Captain Du Ping then assigned Feng Tong and Li Xiang to search for the whereabouts of Feng Weiyi, who was still missing. Not long after starting their search, Feng Tong and Li Xiang found a wall with bloodstains. Worried that Feng Weiyi might be there, they decided to enter the door in front of the hallway, leading them to a plant room. Slowly exploring the area, they suddenly encountered an attack on Li Xiang. Fortunately, Feng Tong swiftly saved Li Xiang from the clutches of a giant chameleon's tongue. While running to evade the pursuing chameleon, Li Xiang accidentally tripped over Feng Weiyi, who was currently unconscious. Feng Tong and Li Xiang attempted to carry Feng Weiyi's body to the medical room while continually avoiding the pursuit of the giant chameleon. Just as Feng Tong was about to be caught, Captain Du Ping arrived, thrusting an iron rod into the giant chameleon's body. That night in the medical room, Feng Weiyi finally regained consciousness and was surprised to see his own child here, following in his footsteps as an astronaut. However, before much could be discussed, they realized that Richard had disappeared along with He Shiking's syringe. Upon investigation, they found Richard trying to treat the giant chameleon. Here, they uncovered the root of the problem. Richard, a biologist, had been conducting genetic experiments on two animals, a baby chameleon and a baby baleen whale, using bacteria they found from a meteor that fell on the surface of Mars. Instead of transforming the Martian environment to make it habitable, Richard contemplated altering human genetics to adapt to the planet Mars. This revelation angered Feng Weiyi, but before they could take any action, the giant chameleon suddenly woke up and devoured Richard. Instantly, the chameleon's body rapidly grew larger. The chameleon also attacked Feng Tong, 
but he, Shaking, wielding an axe, managed to save him. They all quickly took refuge in the operating room. Realizing the increasingly dangerous situation and the impossibility of allowing Richard's creations to roam freely, Captain Du Ping attempted to contact the Wan Hu spacecraft using an encrypted message. However, at the same time, he also received a message sent two hours ago about a large meteor that would fall into the landing craft area within six hours. Calculating that they had four hours left to fly before the meteor hit the surface of Mars, Captain Du Ping acknowledged the urgency of the situation. Simultaneously, Li Xiang assembled a makeshift bomb, requiring white sugar to perfect it. This prompted Captain Du Ping to decide to go to the cafeteria with Feng Tong, opening the way for the other crew members to quickly exit towards the exploration vehicle using a flamethrower to keep the giant chameleon away. Upon reaching the cafeteria, Feng Tong immediately searched for the needed sugar, while Captain Du Ping confronted the giant chameleon, which now had the ability to camouflage. This ability allowed the chameleon to successfully attack Captain Du Ping and Feng Tong, resulting in damage to the improvised bomb they were carrying. Realizing the situation, Captain Du Ping pushed Feng Tong out of the room and then tested himself against the giant chameleon. He had to do this because the automatic detonator of the improvised bomb was damaged, necessitating manual detonation. Therefore, Du Ping relinquished his captain position to Feng Tong and asked him to promise to safely lead all the crew members out of Mars. However, there was another reason. Du Ping had a heart condition, diagnosed right after they landed on Mars, making it certain that he wouldn't survive the strain of the return flight to the Wan Hu spacecraft. Hence, this was the only thing he could do to help the crew for the last time. <laughs> On the way to the spacecraft, the remaining crew members contemplated how to escape from the giant whale target that could attack them at any moment. They knew the creature could detect electromagnetic radiation emitted by any flying object. Feng Tong reassured his crew that they would surely survive if they flew faster than the giant whale's movements. Upon reaching the spacecraft, Feng Tong and his father had a conversation about their family issues. Feng Tong felt that his father prioritized his work over the family. However, their conversation ended on a positive note, with Feng Weiyi promising to come back and enjoy the New Year's celebration with a family dinner. Inside the spacecraft, their communication signal with the one whose spacecraft finally recovered, and Chen Shan delivered a surprising piece of news about a meteor that would fall into their area in the next 15 minutes. This naturally led them to ponder how, with the remaining 15 minutes, they could fly while avoiding the pursuit of the giant whale. Wei Yi then proposed the idea of flying by changing the takeoff angle, suggesting that it might confuse the giant whale about their flight direction. Although it was quite risky, there was no harm in trying. However, right after that, Wei Yi admitted that all the crucial data from his two years of research on Mars were left inside the exploration vehicle. Therefore, Feng Wei Yi decided to retrieve the data first and promised to return it. However, right after he left, Li Xiang discovered that Wei Yi's research data was actually in a notebook left on his seat. Simultaneously, Wei Yi was seen driving the exploration vehicle away from the spacecraft. Not long after, communication from Feng Wei Yi came in, and it was revealed that he planned to use the damaged escape pod to lure and kill the giant whale, giving the remaining crew a chance to fly safely off Mars. This action, of course, sparked a conflict with his own son. Feng Tong, unable to accept his father's departure, attempted to leave the spacecraft, but he, Shuqing, and Li Xiang restrained him, reminding him that his current position as captain held responsibility for the mission's success and the safety of the crew. They urged him not to waste the sacrifices made by Du Ping and Feng Weiyi. Ultimately, with deep sorrow, Feng Tong accepted his father's departure. Meanwhile, Wei Yi had used the damaged escape pod to lure the giant whale and detonate it in the air. This is Feng Wei Yi, Chinese scientist. 
Allies, Project Mars. This is my last mission. 再见了，程小川。不仅是期望为了我们生活的星球变得更好，你不要有我的遗憾。我们的子孙后代能有一个安全的、可靠的生存地。After the giant whale exploded, Feng Tong and his crew successfully flew away, coinciding with the arrival of the meteor that struck the surface of Mars. Upon reaching the spacecraft, Chen Shan, receiving the remaining crew. Soon realized that Captain Du Ping had sacrificed himself for the success of the mission. Shortly after, they reported to Commander Liu at the Earth headquarters that the Wan Hu landing craft had successfully saved Professor Anna and dealt with the unidentified creature, a mutated animal. However, it came at the cost of Captain Du Ping and Feng Weiyi's sacrifices, and the film concluded with a tribute from all the involved members. And that's it for the story series of this film. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to support this channel by subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.